kind of just a very organic pattern. I'm gonna do something um, different this time from the circle one. Hello everyone, and welcome back to another episode of Workshop This. I'm Robin McClendon, and I was here in my studio working this afternoon, and I was just kind of playing with a lot of background techniques and just having some fun. And I pulled out one of my techniques of working on a piece of cardboard with a stamp that I make from a glue gun. And I thought, wow, this would be a fun one to show you all. So I'd made a number of backgrounds with this particular one, just kind of playing around with colors and, you know, things. This is a, a different one with some lines. Look how rich that background is. Yum. And then I was just kind of just having fun with some background techniques and things like that. So I thought, you know what? I'm gonna come on real quick and I'm gonna show you a few different techniques. So I'm using a glue gun and I'm just using the blot because, you know, it shows up better. And a lot of times when I'm doing my various um, demos, like even in Patreon and stuff like that. I came across this black glue, you know, gun, uh, glue stick, I mean. <laughs> and so I thought, I'm just actually working kind of just a very organic pattern. I'm gonna do something um, different this time from the circle one. I want to overall and just really just let the glue gun really accumulate. Um, and so you just get a lot of buildup. This one, I just want it to be a wild organic pattern. So you can see what we're doing here and just kind of keep working it. A lot of times I'll go back over the lines that I've made just to make it them thicker. This is a small glue gun, so, you know, it doesn't come out as thick. If you have a larger one, or if you don't have a glue gun and you want to buy one, um, get the larger one. I do have a larger one as well, but it doesn't take the black stick. So it's harder for folks to see. I'll put a little bit more on here. So I kind of started off with this circular line and I'm going to kind of continue to build sort of like in that sort of pattern. So like I said, just kind of even go back over top of some of them. The higher the relief, the better. And of course, for me, the more organic the form is, <laughs> the better. Because I think you just you just get more unpredictable patterns. And that's where a lot of really good mark making come in. So this is just another way to create your own stamp for mark making. Continue to explore that. And of course, you can do this on top of papers that you already have marks on, um, papers that already are stained and colored. So the sky's the limit. And I'll show you, um, and one that I have sitting to the side already, how you can just kind of do it over top of. Okay, so those in these right here probably need a little bit more height to match outer edge. So it's just a really wild pattern. So we'll let that dry and then we'll be back to use it. Okay, so now it's, it's nice and dry. What I like to do is first start off with putting my pattern down first. So I'm going to use the black in the carbon black in the golden. And I actually use my other plate. You can use a palette as well. If you have like a paint palette, you can use that also. Or wax paper or anything that you have that won't absorb the paint. 
so that you can use this as a inking palette. That's what we're doing. So I like to, you can brush it right on there, but I like to put it down on a lot of paint and press it. I think you get a lot more on your stencil. So you pick this up like that. And I think what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna kind of shift my pattern. So do that to kind of get this really neat. Let's just grab some more paint. So you could do this pattern a number of different ways, but you can see how you're just, you start picking up these organic marks. And it's nice because that way they stay random and just keep on flipping your plate, your, um, your stamp or this is also known as a collagraph in um, printmaking because it's like making a stamp that you can use over and over again in the printmaking process. We'll just kind of put that there. And then I let that dry. So we want this paint to dry on the plate, but look at that really cool pattern. And I mean, you know, as many ways as you flip this will be as many ways as you can just use this over and over again. Now on this plate here, I have um, some of this black down. So what I like to do is while it's still wet, I'm going to just kind of really make some lines through it. So it goes right back down to my plate. Because this is not going to be wasted either. Nothing gets wasted, right? So I'm just using the rounded part of a paintbrush. So it's not going to damage my paint, my plate, my paint, my plate. I'm sorry. It's just a rounded um, brush and just, you know, wood. And so it's nice and rounded. So you don't have to worry about that on the plate but it will remove a lot of material. So we got a lot of that black out the way. So we're gonna let that stay there. And we'll let all this dry. Okay, so now this is nice and dry. Dry to the touch, it dries pretty quickly. Let's go ahead and put some quinacridone gold down here. This is the Hovine products, so it's just as beautiful, actually, as the golden. So if you can get the whole bind, probably in Europe, a little easier than you can get um, golden, go for that. And it's also cheaper. So I'm going to put that down because I always like the drama of um, that quinacridone gold against black. So let's just get a real nice, smooth. I'm using the glassine paper. So, you know, we've already talked about the glass scene. So but you can use any paper. This will work with all the papers we've already discussed and been using. And I like to just get a nice, smooth adhesion on this plate. And we'll just pull a really beautiful piece of um, paper with a lot of marks on it that can be used as an element in collage. It can be used as a background to continue to build on. Um, you know, it can be used a lot of different ways. Alrighty, so let's go ahead and pull this. Oh, this really has a really nice tiger pattern. Look at that, it's so yummy. So just look how beautiful that pattern is. And we just did it very random with making our own glue, glue gun stencil. Now I'm going to show you also in the paint, it pulled really clear on the plate. Now let me show you what we're going to do here. Just with the, you know, if you do use your jelly plate as a um, inking surface and you're thinking, okay, so now what do I do with all that black paint on my um, plate? We're just going to roll this up in this turquoise. I'm going to off layer some of it just so that, you know, we've already talked about the push and pull. So this is how we can get some of it off. And then I'm going to take that. Then again, I'm reverse directions. And 
and we're going to let that dry. Make sure when you do it, you get through all the way through to that top layer of color. So you really are removing the paint because we want to be able to see that top surface so you can see through the plate. So while we're letting that dry, I had one over here that I did earlier when I had the idea to stop and show you all that I did with my circle stamp. So this is nice and dry. So you can see that all laying down there. I did it the same way that we just did it. But now let's use some matte medium because you guys are familiar with the matte medium. We've talked about it. So let's get a little, oop, I said a little and I put a lot. Let's get a little matte medium down on the plate. Let me just get a credit card and scoop some of that up, get a little bit too much. You know, I always rather put down a little first and then come back and put more. So even if I need to put some more down, I'd rather get that first layer. Although I think this is plenty. So I have a piece of stained paper, my rain stained paper and with um, all kind of color bleeds on it. And uh, it originally had some of my scripting on it that um, was a photocopy that's bled. And then this is some rusting on it. So, I, you know, like I thought, let's take something like this and then over stamp it with this pattern and on the back too. So this will make a great sheet to put into a book for, you know, a book project. Cause it's double-sided, but even if it were one-sided, you know, it'd be amazing as a base to start collage or using it as a collage element. It's all about making our papers and taking this sort of mixed media approach to it. And that's what I really love about the gel plate. It's like, yeah, it's a printing um, tool, but it's also really a mixed media tool. Like you can just do so much with it. Um, so I'm really just, I wanted to get a good seal here so that when I go to lift it up, Wow, I like that. So see how we just got this really nice random pattern over top of what we did, had down there. So I didn't want to cover that up. So I still wanted to see the scripting. We still want to see the rusting, but you know, we wanted some mark making on there. And so this is a great way of doing it. And it's still more on the plate because there's always enough left over to, to pull another print. So just wanted to show you, you know, using this technique on other papers, just to really flush out when you want your sort of the eco stained look. And now let's finish up by taking our quinacridone, putting it on top of what we've just done here. So we have about three layers, right? Because we have our original layer of the black when we were just using this as a, as a palette. And then I put the um, put acridone down and uh, we scribe through the black. Then I put the, I mean, the golden's teal down and we scribe through that. And then we came back with the quinacridone um, as our final layer to pull. And there we have it. This is just a quick you know, demo on how to make the stencil easy. Um, you know, just some things you can do with it on the plate. Just kind of think outside the box with the different papers and stuff you have, just to kind of add texture to things that already have texture where you don't want a full gel plate on, a print on there. You don't want a whole lot. You just want to add a little bit so that it kind of still keeps that nice random nature that happens when we stain and dye our pieces. Okay, so this should be good. It's feeling good. Okay, here we are. And then we have this amazing print from using the black palette. So you can see every time I scribe through it, when I scribe through the black, that's what allowed that blue line to be there. Because when I put the blue over it, um, it, it shows through all the places where 
the black was removed because if we hadn't removed that black, you wouldn't see this blue. And then when the blue was dry, we scribed through that and we got these lines. And so everywhere the blue and the black was gone, we put the quinacridone down and then we've got these lines. So that's just another cool way to work to create a background print while, you know, using two plates if you have them. If you don't, then, you know, you could still do this technique on that plate. But just sort of showing you how if you're using different things in your studio, you know, just constantly keep on thinking outside the box and don't let anything go to waste and just try stuff. You know, it may work. It may not work. There's so many things I do in my studio, guys, that don't work. Trust me. You know, you guys never see that. But all the stuff that does work, that's what I show you. So, Get those glue guns, get some cardboard, just those all those boxes that we get from Amazon and everywhere. Cut them up, make yourself your own stamp or collagraph plate that you can then stamp over and do things on your gel plate and just have a lot of fun with mark making and making patterns. So there we have it. So I hope you enjoyed that. Keep with the comments, the questions, the things that you'd like to see me do in this series. I really am glad that you all are enjoying it because I'm really enjoying doing these, this workshop, this, um, and like today I'm in my studio working and I thought, Hey, let me just flip on the camera and show you all what I'm doing. So take care. Love you all. Make sure you thumb up the video. Um, and also if you're new, please subscribe because it really helps to push the videos out and expand our community and just get all these good techniques out so that so many more people will know how to use their jelly plates and have fun with them. So take care. Love you all. Bye-bye.